morning. My name is Raymond Grant, and I'm a graduating senior this year at Johnson County Early College Academy, located on the campus of Johnson Community College here in North Carolina. I represent the more than 100,000 students in over 250 early colleges across the country. In my family's history, both of my parents dropped out of school early. My biological mother dropped out when she was in the eighth grade, and my dad went to the Navy his senior year. I was very excited when I first heard about the early college. My dad, thankfully, was also supportive of my decision to attend the school. He consistently believed in me over the years and was an encouragement in my educational career. I came into the early college for a few reasons, the most important being this, to ensure that I was able to continue my education after high school. In addition, I wanted to make a difference in my society in some way. The early college was exactly as I had dreamed. I was able to be myself. However, with that freedom came hard times. Nights spent late doing homework while also juggling a job and church. Being on a college campus while being 14 years old was completely unheard of. And I knew that I would have to adapt and learn how to be mature much quicker than those I had gone to middle school with. My school has most certainly equipped me for greatness, but it has also taught me the most important thing I've ever learned in my life, and that is that hard work does pay off in the end. Through my four years of early college, I have questioned several times where I wanted to go after school. I worked very hard to get the grades I received and had awesome gifts and talents, but I had no clue what I wanted to go into, nor did I have any idea where I would go post high school. As the years went by, I tried to tell myself that I had plenty of time to make up my mind. I figured that since I was a guitar player and was told by others that I was good at it, that I would go into music. Still, others at the church that I attended told me I would be a great minister or pastor someday. Freshman year, I was even considering going into programming. However, none of these career options ever settled inside of me. For three years, I went back and forth on these three career choices. With that inconsistency came my questioning on where and even if I was going to pursue university after high school. At the beginning of this year, I was planning to be a music major and had worked hard to find schools that had good music programs in state. I had narrowed down my choices and had applied to two schools, Campbell and Appalachian State University. Once the application process was over, I figured I would have a couple of months to make my final decisions on my major and even apply for some scholarships. I certainly was not expecting a reply from either school for a while. Fortunately, I had to make my decision much quicker due to an unexpected reply from Campbell in the mail. I had applied to Campbell in late August and was not expecting any response back from them until January. However, on September 18th, I arrived home and saw that there was a packet from Campbell on my desk. The contents of that packet were what I had always dreamed of, an acceptance to the university. <laughs> Thankfully, that is not where the story ends. <laughs> Within the body of the letter, I was told that due to my academic standing, I had received a presidential scholarship from the university. <laughs> yeah. So my dream had come true. I was going to continue on with my education and be the first in my family to do so. When I received that letter and looked back on everything that had happened to me, I knew that the path I had walked had prepared me for my future. I also realized along the way that my teachers had made a huge impact on my grades, my work ethic, and who I had become. They had pushed me along the way. They were there for me when finances and school were tough. They were there for me when I was going through the process of searching for my purpose and career, and they were there for me when things were well. I looked down at that letter and had a reflection on a time when I was a sophomore. I was in Algebra two, and I had a revelation one day about the possibility of me becoming a teacher. My teacher, Mr. Bill Worley, who was also my academic advisor, had inspired me with the way he taught. He was able to reach kids from all sorts of backgrounds and in his own unique way. It was then that I began to consider being a teacher so that I could also impact kids like me. That memory faded away as time went on, but at that moment, 
I knew exactly what I needed to do. I went on Campbell's website and changed my major from music theory studies to education. I had made a, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had made a final decision. I was going to teach, just as my teachers had done, and I was going to make an impact on a kid that was very similar to me, from a stressful environment, who knew that he wanted to make a difference, who desired to be themselves, but didn't know how to. I wanted to impact those kids. So the early college, the faculty, and the students within, within the school have impacted me in so many ways. They have taught me to think for myself and not off of others' thoughts. I have learned that hard work pays off and the, that the impact you make on people is what you will remember when the years have passed by. I have grown in so many ways the past four years, and I know that my experience has shaped me into who I am. I want to impact others now, not be the one that is always being impacted and tossed side to side. The process of becoming who I am today has been rigorous, but it has paid off in the end. What early college has done for me has made a difference, and I can only hope that someday I can make the same impact on someone else. I want to be able to help students see who they are. I want to help them see opportunity. I want to help them chase it. I want to help them discover, ultimately, what they are supposed to do. There's a quote that was introduced to me by my principal sophomore year that has been relevant to my entire high school career and to becoming who I am. The famous philosopher Heraclitus said, the only constant in life is change. So during this conference, you will have a chance to meet many students like me. Many are from a similar background and have been provided the same hope and opportunity that I have been given. Will our student ambassadors please stand? So over these next few days, I encourage you to ask them about their experiences, their future plans, and most importantly, how being an early college student transformed their vision and goals for the future. Then, I would like for you to consider how all of you have impacted students like me and have helped in giving us the opportunity to call ourselves early college students. Thank you.